Oh, God. Damn. Hmm? Well, while this is playing, I'm gonna keep looking at these screenshots in case posting. Hey, Ellie, I like your name. Here he comes. And I got the dealer. Nina, they're heading your way. They're here. You should have eyes on the merchandise. I sure do. Was that a gunshot? Yeah, they shot the dealer. <sighs> That is so unprofessional. There's a lot of them. Can we do this? We can't afford not to. I can't tell if this is the new Saints Row or not. Yeah, let's do it. Great. Whenever you're ready, Kevin. What do you guys think it's for dinner tonight? Looks like it. it looks like it would be some Saints Row shit, to be honest. Small this one. Nice. Just casually still in the car. See, we need him for our startup. It's a criminal empire kind of. It's gone. <laughs> Bro, did you need it? Well, yeah, I guess. After him. Dude in the fucking digital cat mask. Oh, what the yeah, fuck? Good. That is clean. Oh my that god. Clean. That was clean. Oh my god, she whipped that hoe! from my friends what the fuck <laughs> saints row there it is. holy fuck february that is stone that is a mad song. God damn, bro. Oh my god. But we want to see the game. Yes. Bryce, you got anything more for us? Yes, I actually do. I've got another exclusive for y'all. You know, guys, oh, we got gameplay? For this reboot, so do we got, we got gameplay? No. Oh, what the game actually looks like. So yeah, we, we got ride. gameplay. I want to see it. Wild ride with Saints Row. I want to see what kind of art Thanks style so they're going to go. Us. Here it is, a little sneak preview of the gameplay of Saints Row. This is where oh, all our dreams fuck. are true. Lighting. Oh. This huh. definitely feels like a blend between two and three in terms of art style. That's nice. Come on, boss. Come on, come on, You, you got what I need. But you say he's just a friend. Just me. I'm ready for this album. I don't know how many songs are gonna be on it, but I'm ready. I like the concept already. Red and black. I feel it. I know this is probably all the concept's gonna be, but I'm here for it.
Is it just called Lalisa? Because if it is, that's kind of heat. Curious. Misa Kirios. Hey, I'm Bryce Charles, and I voice the boss in Saints Row. Why am I standing out here in the desert? It's because Saints Row is all new, with a brand new location in the American Southwest with all new characters to discover. Join me and the Volition team as we take you on a tour of a whole new world for the Saints. Welcome to Santo Aleso. What do they gonna show? I'm interested. Saints Row franchise has existed and done so many amazing things. Where do you go from there? It's kind of hard to figure out. Naturally, we look at all the things that we've done in the past, but the more we did that, the more we started to discover that we're actually blocking ourselves from the massive creativity we have at the studio. If we were to zoom out a little bit, I mean, the goals for this product, it's, it's about making the best Saints Row game we've ever done. We weren't really expressing what this game needed to be about. We knew we wanted to get a fresh sort of perspective coming in, and we tried to bring in a lot of new faces into it. And that's really helped us with what we've done. And that's when the concept really dove in that we need to reboot Saints Row. <laughs> If this is a Saints Row game, it's got to be open world, right? Of course it is. And all the crazy sandbox action happens out here, in and around the weird, wild desert city of Santo Aleso, the biggest and best Saints Row playground yet. We finna be in a desert and shit. We're set in the Southwest. It's too close to home. I don't know how I feel about it. It's a whole new bold setting. The Southwest has a majesty. The buttes, the mesas, the color. You're thinking of that red rock. You're thinking of that sandy ground. The iconic sunsets, the postcard imagery, rich in culture, rich in diversity. Nah, it's history. too hot. It's also Bro, got this feels too close to home. This feels like... Santo strange. Keep It Strange fits like a glove. It was practically tailor-made for Saints Row. Oh, this feels like embrace Santa Fe or something. Your weirdness, <laughs> embrace your identity and revel in it. Now we get the heart of our tour, the Saints themselves. Who are these four friends who come together take a chance on each other, and create a criminal empire of their own. We've created a set of characters that you're gonna want to invite in your living room every day. You have the boss. The boss is brash. So the best part is that the boss is you. Sort of a charismatic murder machine. Nice. You did say we need to have our fingers in more pies. You know, Eli. He wants to build something special. Preferreds hostile takeovers to open hostilities. As an investor, I don't like wasting money. I really like Nina. Her way of thinking is really family-oriented. An obsessive gearhead and just the best getaway driver in the business. And badass. Esto es por ti, mama. Kevin, he's come to Santo Aliso looking for a place to belong. Kevin is shirtless. I don't know why. Kev wants to be a TV chef. You know what would make it smell even better? Hey man, a TV if you want a chef. dollar waffle maker, you can buy with the exposure the idols pay you in. This reset let us add heart in a big way, and that's like the number one thing about this game. 100% they're relatable. I would not do what they do to pay down the student loans, but I get where they're coming from all the time. <laughs> so I made them watch while I broke their dad's oh, shit. But who would our bad guys be without the even badder guys? The criminal gangs that rule their own territories in Santo Aleso stand in between you and control of the city you're looking to own. What's their deal? Each of the enemy factions approach you from different angles. I hope the gangs angles. are as they interesting as the old gangs. They distinctly from each other. My name is on the goddamn building! Marshall oh God. is an international corporation. They just happen to have their headquarters here in Santo Aliso. They are strategic assassins. They've got high-tech, bleeding-edge technology. Oh, we got combat roles and down. shit now? In contrast, Pantera's all about muscle and physical power. They're part of the soul of Santo. They're tough and brutal, and they favor melee attacks and heavy weaponry to come at you with full force. When you're messing with the Panteros, you're messing with strength. Ladies and gentlemen of Santo Then there's the idols. The idols are something completely different. Idols. <laughs> self-styled anarchists. 
They see themselves as icons in the New World Order. They're a cult of personality, and what they lack in combat sophistication. You know what? That is definitely a unique so they gang. Try to swarm the play. I like how out there they look. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about the talented team of creatives at Volition that brought this reboot to life. What are some of the things they're most excited for us to see, play, and experience? We are trying to put as much attention to detail as we possibly can. We wanted to create a whole new world filled with discovery that each of our players can feel included in. Our character team and our character customization, our options are crazy. You're making your character the way you want to. Ooh, You're building your criminal character empire design. the way you want yes. to. You're money the way that you want to. All that together leads to the philosophy of being self-made. It is this weird combination that I don't see in any other games out there of humor, of over the top, and of badass. We're wanting you to just be in the moment and have that experience. And the experience that we're having is just BS and have fun with it. So that means next step is to make connections with people that can shoot guns. Oh, come on, man. We want this thing to be more than a street gang. We want to be an organization, an institution. They're the kinds of choices that I can make and the way that I can play the game. And then most importantly, leveraging the experience of volition, creativity that we have with trying new things out and then having this open world where we can realize that. I think it's made for a really exciting game with Cintro. Right. We started this journey searching for the new saints. And where we got to is, it was time to tell a new story set in a whole new city about a group of friends hungry to create a new criminal empire all of their own. But ultimately we discovered that the game itself is about being your own boss, being true, being you, about being self-made. Misa interested. It still feels like Saints Row to me, so I don't, I don't care. It looks fun. I'm ready to play it. Yee. Oh, love to see it. Love to see it. I don't know. I'm excited. It looks good. I know people are mad that it's you know not Saints Row one or two again, but you know. Oh well. We, we know we're never going to get back to that point. So I'm at the point where I'm like, hey, I'm just going to have fun with it. I don't care. <laughs> it, 